r slash ask reddit what supposedly common thing has never happened to you i have never broken a bone oh hey another one just like me i've never broken anything either i hope i didn't just jinx myself quick knock on wood but don't trip on it and break something i've never been offered drugs like dare said people would same here very disappointed i was offered it went like this hey sinapir want to smoke some drugs no thanks okay never had the sex speech with my parents in fact i don't think i have ever heard any of my parents say the word sex consider yourself fortunate my parents never gave me the sex talk either but years after i was married and had kids my mother decided to tell me that she never enjoyed sex. I really could have lived the rest of my life just fine without knowing that. As the oldest of four children I have the unfortunate memories of hearing a lot of sex. Being sent outside for hours at a time for sex. Walking in on sex. And having the sex talk. The sex talk involved me being told about how great sex is in addition to the precautions to take. I've never had those terrible, fiery, after Taco Bell shits that everyone always makes jokes about. It's gotten to the point where I think people just make the joke because it's expected, and someone has to do it. Edit. I would almost say this for any food. I can't remember a time where I had terrible gastrointestinal issues after eating at any particular restaurant. Maybe one or twice after eating at some shady Asian buffet. But of all the places I've eaten at even semi-regularly, I can't recall about of intense diarrhea afterward. I think a lot of people eat Taco Bell late at night after drinking themselves to Down syndrome and then blame their horrific hungover bowel movements the next morning on Taco Bell instead of the 14 Bud Lights they drank. Ding 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 we have a winner. Casual sex. Hooking up. One night stands. I have no idea how it's supposed to work. The only sex I've had is in a relationship. It's hard enough to get a girl's number slash any attention at all. Edit. Wow. A story about not getting laid got me my best comment ever. Girl here. One night stands sound really scary to me. Like. What if the guy is some rapist murderer? What if he has herpes? Or AIDS? And the condom broke? What if he's a horrible a-hole duck boy who accidentally rams it into my butt and doesn't even apologize about it? What if the condom broke and I got pregnant and he gave me a fake number so I could never get in contact with him again? Just too many what ifs. I see all this stuff on the internet about guys making fun of the girls they hook up with. I've seen how much they disrespect them. Colon I wouldn't ever trust my body to people like that. One night stands are scary to me. I said basically exactly this yesterday and was ripped to absolute shreds. I agree with you. You never know who you're going home with. I don't want to end up a lampshade in some Buffalo Bill apartment. No vegans or vegetarians have ever really gone out of their way to shove their views in my face. I know loads of vegans and vegetarians. They never tell me I shouldn't eat meat. In fact they hardly ever mention it unless it comes up. Organically. I am vegetarian. Can confirm that I really never talk to anyone about it unless they ask me. Or are also vegetarian and tell me their reasons logic. Or specifically start a conversation on the topic. On the other hand. I've had plenty of people try to shove their views about not being vegetarian in my face. Some people have even gone as far as feeling sorry for me or telling me it is some sort of mental disease or whatever, or trying to persuade me into trying meat. Because if you don't like meat, you clearly just haven't tried the right good meat, or you would like it, like all normal people. Duck off. It's my choice what to eat and what not to eat ffs. Well, according to reddit, it seems like a lot of people have shit their pants at least once. I can safely say I have not. I have Crohn's disease. I shit my pants. A lot. I laughed at this, but then I realized I shouldn't have. Sorry dude. I hope you're doing well. Wet dreams. Never had one. I'm convinced they aren't real and your health teacher is in on a joke. I'm a girl, so I dk if you would call it a wet dream. But I've orgasmed in my sleep several times. It's actually awesome. Say more stuff about things. I've never been stung by a bee. It hurts. But wasp sting are worse. When I got stung by a bee, I was in 5th grade inside the cafeteria. I felt something on my arm, saw the bee, and quickly swatted it away. Got, 
It felt like a really hard pinch. But, a couple years ago at my old job, I was taking the trash out to the dumpster. The bag was kind of heavy so I rested my arm the edge and apparently there was a wasp chill in there. Stung me right near the elbow. Felt like someone drilling a needle in me. Had a wasp sting me in the back of my neck. It felt like a pinch to me. Maybe I had a wuss wasp? Jury duty. But that's also probably because I don't open the letters. It isn't that bad. I got summoned last year. Called the automated number the night before like the instructions told me to. They told me I was not needed and not to show up. It also means I won't get called upon for jury duty for at least two years. Open bracket. My name is out of the random drawing for two years after being picked. It goes back in the drawing two years after the court date. In my state they won't come looking for you if you skip jury duty. But if you get caught doing something else, they'll charge you with that too. Worked out at a gym regularly as an obese person. Never been made fun of to my face. No longer obese. Yay. I never see this. As someone who was obese at one point I never saw it firsthand. As someone who's at the gym constantly now I never see it from others. Hell when I go running if I pass someone struggling. Skinny or fat. They get a duck yeah but you got this nod from at the least. As a thin female who is very self conscious of being judged at the gym. I friggin love people like you. I hate going knowing I'm gonna be surrounded by big jack dudes who. In my mind. Are laughing at my poor attempts at lifting. I had one guy tell me I was doing great and to keep it up. When I was OBV struggling. And it made my whole day. A week later and I'm still thinking about it. I've been working a cash register for nearly 5 years and not once has anybody ever asked if an item that didn't ring up must be free. You live a blessed life. I only worked as a cashier for 3 years and people said that a lot. It's like a bad dad joke. First breakup. We kind of just. Stopped having sex. I'm not even sure I'm not still in a relationship even after all this time. I remember a redditor appropriately calling this a Walmart breakup. You don't officially get fired. Your shifts just get reduced. Ah. The old Walmart fade. Sex. I knew this comment would pop up somewhere. I was expecting it so far down. Though. Edit. Wasn't. I'll take my accidental meme points and go. Though. Comma. I've never shit my pants. People sometimes even say you will. Like they know something I don't. I'm scared. One of the times I did I was actually throwing up violently and it just sorted of ejected shit. Food poisoning isn't fun. I've never had chicken pox. I've never had chicken pox either. Everyone in my family has had it. All my childhood friends had it. But I never got it. My mom wanted so bad for me to get chicken pox that she would schedule play dates for me with kids that had chicken pox. That was apparently a common thing because the older you are when you get chicken pox the worse it is. So if I recall correctly parents just wanted to get it out of the way when their kids were really young. After almost 10 years. My wife and I have still not had a fight. Teach us your ways. Never had a Twinkie. You're not missing anything. I'd have to agree. I didn't have a Twinkie until last year. I'm in my mid 30s. And was disappointed by the taste. Sadly. I have never seen a shooting star. Always look up right after someone said they saw one go by. Plan ahead and find a good viewing spot for a beat it or shower. It's a fantastic experience. Been to a summer camp. Depending on which summer camp, you could be really lucky. Camp Kidney was pretty cool besides that prick of a duck. I never liked shared the Connie 2012 video. I've never even watched it. Thought I've never forgotten about Colby 2012. Never forget. According to television and film people routinely transition from anger or grief to horny at warp speed and based on nothing more than a look. I have never been sad or angry and felt like being intimate was my way out of that feeling. Dude. You're missing out. Rage boners are the best. A good old fashioned hatterduck does the trick a lot of the time. Kissing. Same. I'm 24 though ha. Ha. Don't feel too bad yet. I'm nearing 30. Had a girlfriend, on the plus side, never broken a bone, or done anything with one, apparently, sorry, good execution, we don't need burn centers when we have an executor, colon, received a text sent to the wrong number, 
I got one asking Jacob, not me, how he lost his job. I told the person that I took a dump on the boss's desk. I never received a response. You establish dominance. No one questions the alpha. I've never had a nosebleed. I have never been on a plane. It's mostly like sitting in a really uncomfortable chair in a crowded room. Except it flies. You're sitting on a chair, in the sky. I've never had a tooth pulled, and no cavities. Do you have any teeth? I'm an American and I've never gone to a baseball game. Well duck man, we're going. If we're ready common, never had anyone talk to me about crossfit. Jesus died on the crossfit. Funerals, I'm in my mid twenties and I'm lucky enough to never have attended a funeral. Being harassed online because I'm a female. Hey baby you wanna PM your torties? No thank you. Interaction or encounter with fat acceptance activist. I'm a male and I've never used the urinal. I find it very comfortable just to sit down. Never broken the screen of an electronic. And I've owned the same iPod touch for almost 6 years. Are people using their phones to play racquetball or something? Until a month ago I would say shat my pants. My condolences. I have never, in my 39 years, won any kind of lottery, raffle, or anything that had a real prize, ever. Not even a kid raffle at school for a lolly, nothing. I've never been picked as a preferred team member during kickball, etc. Last pick is usually between me and the drunk ponytail guy that wandered onto the field. I've never been asked to do an exit poll, and I've been voting for 30 years in various states. I cannot hiccup. Donate your body to science. I never had a mosquito bite. So how's the weather in Antarctica? Never ducked the pizza delivery girl. I see that it's really common in a lot of movies. What movies are you watching that has a female delivery girl? I can't think of a single one off the top of my head. I have never actually met someone who believes the 10% of our brains myth. Never had a paper cut. And never watched The Lion King. Gotten a boner from looking at a woman. Is, is there something you're not telling us? Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.